You know, many times in football, the purists talk about how the ultimate team sport is the ultimate arbiter and who can become a leader. Sometimes those cliched notions sort of get washed away with a win at all cost mentality. Well, all cost is something that Ray Ray McElrathby was willing to pay to be a winner and not just necessarily on the football field. Here's Keith Jackson. Dear Ray, my name is Chad and I just turned nine. Please use this money to take care of you and your little brother. You are a remarkable young man and you are a wonderful example for your brother. People always talk about sports heroes. You are the ultimate. I pray blessings upon Ray and his brother and I hope that this tiny gift can make a difference for them. Good luck to you and your brother. You both have many people pulling for you. What is it? about these young men that causes complete strangers to donate money to wish them well. To understand, you have to know where they came from. Growing up, Ray Ray McElrath Bay and his brother Favar rarely ever saw their father. And what they saw of their mother was not fit for young eyes. When I first seen my mother actually do drugs, it was um, a kind of enlightenment period. I really didn't understand it for what it was, but I knew it wasn't good. I feel very sad about it because, like, most moms don't do that and leave their kids at home. When we go looking for my mother, we knew what to look for. We knew the houses that, you know, were crack houses. But Ray Ray persevered and reached his goal of attending college with a well-earned scholarship. The classroom and the football field consumed Ray Ray's life until this summer. With his mother, once again using drugs, and unable to care for Favor, 19-year-old Ray Ray requested and was granted custody of his 11-year-old brother. I'm not the only solution, but I'm the best solution because I know what he's been through. I've been through the foster care system. He don't want to be in that. Here's a young man, well on his way to fulfilling a childhood dream playing the game that he loves. But he has the presence to say that it is important for me to be successful, but not uh, at the expense of my brother not being successful. Wake up. That was some things I had learned on the fly. Knowing not just to ask the brother questions, I got to ask the parent questions. The brother questions might be, OK, what you do at school today? Little simple questions. And then uh, the parent questions might be, um, OK, how you feel about living here? Good shirt. There you go. Every decision I make, I got to know I'm making a decision for Faymar. Faymar first, me second. But making ends meet would prove to be a challenge. As a student athlete, Ray Ray was forbidden by strict NCAA rules from accepting money or assistance. Doing so could jeopardize his scholarship. The Clemson community saw countless opportunities to lend a hand, but they were powerless to do so. We couldn't do anything as a coach and a coach's wife, family. You're not allowed to help any student athlete. It was so frustrating in the beginning because here's this child who's in need of help and he doesn't have it. The university petitioned the NCAA to allow for people to offer assistance. This fall, a waiver was granted. Oh, it was incredible. Everyone wanted to give everything they had. The outpouring of love and support was amazing. How was school? Good. Since the ruling, he can go over one of my coach's houses, do his homework, and I won't have to worry about him because I know that he's with responsible parents. Growing up, there was times I had to worry about where I was going to eat or where I was going to sleep. It's your turn. Faymar, he don't have that problem. I'm grateful for that. Donations have poured in from around the country to a special trust fund established for Faymar. I think it is truly a testament to Ray Ray and Faymar because they've experienced the pain of a substance abuse. They have said, I'm going in the opposite direction. I want something more for my life. I want something better for my life. The caring, the generosity of all these people who sent me letters, it shows that, you know, there are still great people in America. It's kind of weird and scary at the same time because what I'm doing is just being a brother. <laughs>